How does a concrete overlay work? Concrete overlay or resurfacing of concrete is essentially a skim coat of a very thin, high quality, dense, polymer enriched, water reduced concrete mix. So what does all that mean? It just means that this is an engineered mix design such that it will be very, very thin and it has a lot of bonding agents in it. What we're going to do is we're going to take some old concrete, maybe some concrete that doesn't really look that good anymore, and we're going to put a very thin layer, one quarter inch, three eighths of an inch or half an inch thick. And now what this enables us to do is, well, sure, we could have a nice new smooth surface on it where it wasn't, you know, good before. But in addition to that, well, we could also add color. You know, we're doing a, a very thin mix, so you don't need that much. So it wouldn't be that hard to add some color to it. And a lot of people do. You can add some really dramatic colors to overlays. And th that's not where it ends. You could do stamps and textures and all kinds of stuff. The thing about an overlay is it's not as good as if you poured the concrete fresh and did stamps or, or something like that, or a texture to it. There will always be the old concrete, the new concrete, and a potential plane for delamination be between the two. Like, a, in theory, the product is so heavily modified that it should bond to almost anything, but still, it's not as good as uniformly poured concrete. Anytime that you have old concrete and new concrete and you try to combine the two, you have what's called a cold joint. This cold joint under laboratory conditions would show you very clearly how the one layer and the other layer kind of met. They integrated to a small degree, but not very much. And any sort of adverse conditions like uh, temperature fluctuations or force like hitting with a hammer and you can shear that plane and completely delaminate one from the next pretty cleanly as well. So what you want to remember here with an overlay is that it is going to give you an opportunity. You can add a new fresh look to old unattractive concrete so long as it's in such condition that it can withstand, you know, some more life. It can't be completely deteriorated, destroyed, and crumbling, but if it's still pretty good and it's, you know, not cracked and not broken, not crumbling away, but it just doesn't look as good as it used to, or perhaps there's some pitting or some sort of deficiency on the surface layer, an overlay is very thin. It'll allow you to kind of marry your existing elevations for things like steps and decks and stuff like that. If you went and added an inch or two onto that, well, now you're going to have all sorts of problems with your elevations. And that's kind of what an overlay does, is it allows us to add the new concrete. We can add some new color. We can achieve a reasonably strong bond between the two layers. And we don't have to go and mess around with all of the, the elevations and do extensive removal and replacement of things like concrete. It's a pretty good option. It's pretty affordable. It can look pretty dramatic. But there is no free lunch. It's not perfect. It probably won't last forever. It's not as good as if you just took all that concrete out and replaced it. This is a pretty good option to look at if you're looking at some old concrete and you want to make it look better.